let's see some basic operations uh, for factoring trigonometric expressions right so factoring rules are similar to what you learn for factoring quadratic equations right so we'll I'll just give you a few examples and then uh, you can factor similar kind of uh, trigonometric expressions let me write like this let's say we have cos square x minus cos x sin x so why are we doing this exercise the idea is we learn small small steps and then we can solve big problems okay so these are things which are used inside uh, as few steps to solve a problem okay so we'll have trigonometric identities in details but we are just getting prepared for it so if you have a situation like this what you can do is you can always factor out cos x right so this could be written as cos x and then you have cos x here so cos x minus cos x has been factored out so you left with sin x correct so that is kind of a thing which you can get now I can give you some more examples which are very common here like 1 minus if I write uh, this is sine square x, correct? Now this is kind of difference of squares. T it as 1 square minus sine square x. So this can be factored as 1 plus sine x times 1 minus sine x, okay? So that's that's the factoring for such kinds of functions, right? Or you can have a situation where we have like sine square x minus 2 sine x plus 1. Now this is kind of a quadratic equation, correct? So you can remember sum and product and so we need two numbers whose product is 1 and whose sum is minus 2. So of course those two numbers could be only minus 1 minus 1, right? We don't have much option here. So we get minus 1 minus 1. So it's minus 1 square that means. Anyway, let's do two steps. Sin x minus 1 times sin x minus 1 which is sin x minus 1 whole square right you could also see it was a whole square because a square and this is b square and the center, center term is 2ab correct so these are our simple factoring techniques which we had been using right and the same thing we try to use here correct but this is very helpful step to solve some bigger problems which uh, may involve many of such steps in sequence. You'll appreciate this when you do trigonometric identities in details. Okay, we're just trying to get you understand the trigonometric expressions at the moment. Okay, thank you.